Okay, my people, this is it. This is the square problem of the year. This has everything. You are going to be blown away by this square problem. That's right, we have a square, and that, whoops, we have a square, and that means we have 10 properties of a square that are hopefully in your blood. And what do we want to find? We want to find x, we want to find y, and we want to find the length of AB. So, how are we going to do that? Well, check it out we have a side over here of the square that has an expression with a mixture of two variables x and y that's interesting and then we have this little angle down here a little expression called 9y and then we have another expression for this angle over here involving an x so it just has to pop into your brain uh, with the properties of a square and what these angles kind of translate to be so hopefully you will recognize that all the diagonals, both diagonals, are perpendicular. And if both diagonals are perpendicular, that means all these angles in here are 90 degrees. And what does that mean? That means we can write an equation for x in here. 5x plus 70 equals 90. And we're going to be able to get x in a moment. You should also know that all these little beige angles in here are all the same. Why are they all the same? Is because we know in a square all the angles are 90 degrees and all of these angles get bisected. So if all of them get bisected, each one of these are 45 degrees, meaning we are going to have, excuse me, we are going to have 9y equals 45. So, um, Let's find x and y. So how do we do that? Well, let's see. We put the 70 on the other tw uh, other side. So we got 5x equals 20. Turns out x is 4. Over here on the other side of the fence, we got y equals 5. So what does that mean? Well, we know x and y. We the, those are the values of x and y. And this is going to help us find one side of the square. So when I go 2 times the value of x plus 2 times the value of y, let's see, 8 and 10, that is 18. So altogether, every single side of the square is 18. And so there's only one thing left to find, that is the length of AB in here, and I'm going to highlight it with a, a blue marker right here, that is AB. And so AB is a part of a few different triangles, and I'm going to highlight the one triangle that we are going to focus on here. There's a couple different choices, but um, I'm just choosing this one. And so notice, we know that side is 18. We know this side is 18. And a while ago, I showed everyone the uh, shortcut for 45-45 right triangle. I'm going to give a little recap right now. So if we have our 45-45 right shortcut, which is another name for an isosceles right triangle, it turns out if we know the legs, then the shortcut for finding the hypotenuse is just take the leg and multiply it by radical 2. So in this case, we're going to be able to take what we know for that triangle, uh, meaning uh, the two legs are 18, and applying the shortcut, the length of that hypotenuse is going to be 18 radical 2. So that is the length of AB. It's 18 radical 2. And so hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you soon.